or the arcade. These are my options? What exactly did I do to deserve this? Spending time with your sister is not a punishment. You used to love doing stuff with Hildy. Yeah, when I was a kid. I can't wait until I get enough money to buy my own car, so I don't have to spend my free time with a 10-year-old. Hildy looks up to you. Can't you put aside your I'm too cool for this attitude for just a day? I'm not too cool. I just don't want to spend my free time in a ball pit or watching some cartoon chicken save the planet from a lava monster. Zombie fool, she always wants to hang out with Stop. me. Stop. Fine. You want to leave? We'll leave. Come on, Hildy. You never even gave it a chance. What, the children's movie or the ball pit? Anything. You never give anything a chance. Mom? Can I borrow the car when we get home? To go to your new babysitting job? You didn't forget, did you? Oh, yeah. No, I need it. I'll just drop you off. Guess you're hanging out with the kid today no matter what. You can at least let me drive myself. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. This is a babysitting job you got me? You could have at least let me clean Dracula's castle or Frankenstein's lab. Well, it is almost Halloween. They're just a little older, but they're nice people. They come into the store all the time. Give them a chance. A chance? To what? Make me the last ingredient in their gingerbread house? Look, you ask for a job so you can buy a car. Fine! Hey there, young lady. We've been waiting for you. We? My wife and I. Who else? Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Good. I'm Chelsea. My name is Herman. Come on in. Frighten you, dear. I walk lightly. Please excuse us. Uh, we understand that you might be a little weirded out by us old folks. Oh, <laughs> this is my wife, Johanna. Hi. Sorry. I'm. It's not you. I'm just a little nervous. New house and new people. No need to apologize, dear. We understand. We are running behind. So make yourself comfortable. We'll see you in a few hours. Oh, wait, what about the, um, uh, what about your- Oh, you mean our daughter Greta. She's already asleep and uh, chances are she won't bother you at all. She's uh, our little angel and she just doesn't like to be left alone. So it should be pretty easy money for you. Oh, only trouble is we don't have television. It's okay. I. I brought my own. Our numbers are on the kitchen table, and if you need us, see you soon. Have a good time. What the heck? How did it die already? Of course I forgot my phone charger. Didn't they say daughter? They're kind of old to have a little child, aren't they?
to drink. What to drink? Better than nothing. I must be getting hungry. <laughs> Hello? Kid? I, I mean, Greta, are you awake? <laughs> you little angel? <laughs> Well, there's my sandwich. I wonder who could have brought it out here. I gotta admit, I much prefer a silly little mischievous kid than a boy sleeping. Back to sleep already, huh? You know, it's not nice to scare the babysitter. Play with me! Play? Play? I can give you a car. It's not much, but it runs and it can get you from A to B. Please, just hear us out. Please, dear, join me for a cup of tea and all of this will make a lot more sense. We really didn't mean any harm. Could have fooled me. I apologize. You see, we always wanted a family, to have children of our own, but we couldn't. After years of trying, we thought that dream was over. Soon after, we got married, we bought this house, thinking it would just be the two of us here forever. Then we realized there weren't two souls living here, but three. I was terrified. We had put all of our savings into the house. Herman tried to convince me there was nowhere else to go, but I was determined to leave. I had left the house in a rage and didn't notice when he had another of his heart episodes. His pills were all the way in the bedroom. And then... After Herman told me what happened, I still wasn't convinced. But I was grateful for what she did. I wanted to give her a chance. Especially since we didn't have much of a choice. As soon as I saw her, I knew she was meant to be my daughter. The truth is, my heart has always been pretty bad because I was so stressed about 
life, my job, just everything until Greta came along and, and, and changed everything. She's the, the light of our lives now and we just couldn't be happier. You see, if I had jumped to conclusions because of what she looked like, stay for a bit, please. Thank you. I'm glad I gave this a chance. I actually had a lot of fun, despite the initial shock of the whole thing, of course. That reminds me, a deal's a deal. Here you go. It's a good thing to bust stuff not too far from here. You're gonna have to take the bus? No. Uh, actually, th that's okay. You need it more than I do. And I can earn my own car by coming back here and maybe sit in Greta whenever you guys need me to. If you'll have me. <laughs> oh. It looks like it's decided. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> yes, play with me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly little um. angel. I'll see you all soon. Yeah. Thanks. Did everything go okay in there? I tried to call. My phone died and... Yeah, it was a little bumpy at first, but once I got to know them, everything was perfect. So, in other words, it's good you didn't jump to conclusions based on how something looks on the outside. Ugh, you're right, but I, I can see why sometimes you have to give things a chance. Hey, Mom, can you scooch over? I want to sit next to my sister. One day, you have to tell me what happened inside that house. Anna put some M&Ms in there, too. Just